morning, dragons. Welcome to our third distance learning assembly. I hope everybody had a good spring break and that you've come back and you're really getting into the distance learning that's happening this week. Now, you guys on Monday, grade one did a really interesting thing where they listened to some of their classmates read a book and then they decided whether or not they wanted to read that book as well. Would you like to listen to some of the things that they said about the books? Let's have a look. Hello, Miss Lucy. I have your book. I have it right in my hands. It was called The Last Day of School and I read it. Can you t please tell me how to press down in the link of the reading? Because I'm trying to press it, but it won't work. And I didn't know that the sun shines to the moon and shows itself. I didn't know that. That was a new fact for my brain. I love animals, especially horses. Because if I if I had wings, I would fly to I would fly up to the the clouds and I will lie on them. First I listened to Drake. I the title of the book is the la the last school and I didn't understand anything from Drake. I was always um, interested why the moon disappears from time to time. I want to read this book because the book is about horses. And Lena's book was how many T's are already read it, so I don't want to read it again. And I don't really want to read it because I already know about armadillos. I would like to read this book because it shows me things in the past. That I don't want to read that book because... Because I don't like clouds. And for roly polies, I think it's really cool that they can that when they are dried up, they go into little balls like tardigrades. Now, just to let you know, tardigrades are these microscopic animals. Microscopic means they're so tiny that you can't see them. At first, I thought it would be boring to do science and. When I read it, that was so interesting to know about our body system. And I would like to read it because I want to learn more about Africa. I would like it because I like dogs and I just love dogs. I would like to read the book because I like ice cream. And my favorite ice cream is vanilla ice cream, and they like to bake. Bebba's book sounds funny. I like lies because she tells about the ocean because if you throw um, trash, then animals are, are dying because they cannot live. I did not understand because she did not say all the stuff from the book. She only said one thing about the book, so I, so I did not know what the book is about. So, maybe, so I thought I could read the book myself. And why I liked it was because she said, she said that we could do different activities and it was about the weather and, and that's it. That was great, grade one. I really liked your different opinions on why we should read some books or maybe why we shouldn't. You know, reading is one of my favorite things to do during distance learning. And it's always great when one of our friends or somebody in our family can recommend a new book. Now Dragons, it's been a month since our last assembly, so we've got a lot of birthdays to celebrate. So let's go to Miss Hart and talk about a few birthdays. Good morning Dragons, how are you? I miss you. I hope you are having a great day and a great first week back to online learning. Um, 
I hope that you enjoyed your spring break. I had fun going outside, hiking, riding my bike. It was nice to have some time off. But <clears throat> I hope that you are enjoying this week's learning engagements. We have a lot of people to celebrate today for our birthdays. So when I say your name, please stand up. We have Tibot in grade five, Raphael, grade five, Ilya, grade five, Rosa, grade five, David, grade five, Anastasia, grade five. <clears throat> in grade four, we have Kana, Till, Tim, Sandra, and Owen. In grade three, we have Spencer, Finley, Giselle, Jacob, Carlisle, Aiden, Arush, Esther, and Atanya. In grade two, Gabriel, Sigrid, Habib, Ella, Augustine, Adrian. Grade one, Kai, Arjun, Beba, Arav, Yusuf, Naran. And then last but not least, we have EL345. And they need, they are in EL5, Aturv, Edward, Lucas, Yeron, Luca, Lorene. And an EL34, Arka, Bowen, Natalie, Haikwen, Ningu, and Mahir. Wow, so many people. So, are you ready to sing to them? Today we're going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to sing it in English. Ms. Zema is going to sing it in German. And then we have some students singing in Maori. Are you ready, boys and girls? Let's go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear dragons. Happy birthday to you. Now in German. Zum Geburtstag viel Glück. Zum Geburtstag viel Glück. Zum Geburtstag liebe Rochen. Zum Geburtstag. Zum Geburtstag viel Glück, zum Geburtstag viel Glück, zum Geburtstag, liebe Drachen, zum Geburtstag viel Glück. Raffaello Chiacque, Raffaello Chiacque, Raffaello Natanifa. If you want to sing in your special language, please let Mr. Derek know and we will have you video record so we can sing at the next assembly. Thanks so much. Dragons, you know one of the things that I've missed in our assemblies since we've gone to distance learning is our ability to meet somebody new from the community. Well, today I was lucky enough to get to interview someone from our community and uh, let him tell us a little bit about who he is. Let's listen to that interview now. My name's Wayne. All right, Mr. Wayne, uh, what's your job here at this? Uh, I'm security. And Mr. Wayne, how long have you worked here? Uh, I've been here eight years now. Eight years. And where are you originally from, Mr. Wayne? Uh, from South Africa. Cool. So, Mr. Wayne, tell me, what are some things that you normally do with your job at school? Well, uh, secure the premises. Make sure no bad people would come from the outside to the inside. And uh, yeah, basically make sure that uh, there's no suspicious people on the cameras or anything like that. And I as well do all the uh, ID cards and so on. And tell me what, now that you're here and there aren't any students, what's something that you miss the most about students not being here? Uh, about student being here, yeah, I would say the morning greetings, greeting everybody in the mornings, all the smiley faces and so on. Yeah, I would say that. Just having people around. And tell me, Mr. Wayne, if you could have any superpower, what would your superpower be? I think it would be to be invisible to uh, all, um, or how do you, instruct, in, indestructible. Indestructible. Why would you want to be invisible? Um, I don't know. I just think it would be one of the superpowers I would wish to have if I was a superhero. 
And Mr. Wayne, if you could be any animal, what animal would you be? A dragon. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Wayne. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure. See you guys soon. Dragons, you know, even if he's not invisible, and even if he's not indestructible, Mr. Wayne is still a superhero to me. Now, dragons, the other day, I was riding my bike, and I came across a really interesting surprise while I was riding along. And I'd like to show you a little video that I made when, when I found that surprise. Hey, dragons, it's me. And look, I was riding home on my bicycle by the river, and, and, and I saw something that, that I want to show to you. It, it looks kind of different here. Let me get off my bike, put my bike down, take my helmet off. So over here, there's this thing that I found. I want to show it to you here. Let me change the camera. Riding along the river, and I come and I look, and I see down on the ground, there's this little house with a little door. And then I came over here, and there's a little sign. And can you see on that sign, it said Fairyland. And then I looked over here a little bit more. And look. There's another little house and a little door. Can you see a little door? I wonder what kind of goes in and, and, and out of that door. And then I look over here. And there, 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 that's where I put my bag on the ground. And then I came over here and I saw this little house here and this sign. And then uh, over here, there's another door that says fairies only on it. Dragons, I'm not going to show you the whole video today. And I'm not going to show you everything that I found. I'm going to save that for a later day. And let you think about it a little bit. But you know, my question would be, if you were a fairy, where would you live? And if you were a fairy, what would your fairy name be? Now, dragons, an interesting thing about that was that when I was riding along, I found that fairy land and it was a surprise. And a lot of surprises are really good. And my challenge to you today is to find some special kind surprise that you can do for somebody at your house? What's something that you could do for one of your brothers or sisters? What's something that you could do for your mom or dad that's not just kind, but it's a surprise? So when you do it for them, it'll make them feel extra special. Now, dragons, you guys keep working hard on Tapestry and Seesaw. I'm very proud of everything that you guys have been doing. Keep going and we'll see you real soon. Thank you for listening. I'm looking forward to see you in the next assembly. Bye.